Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hills Bell, hello. Um, I'm down in the cabin today. I thought I'd film down here again. It's a lovely blue sky. A bit chilly down here at the moment because this is in the shade, but in the afternoon it gets absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm hoping to show you the clothes outside, but that is the noisiest hedge trimmer in the world going on at the moment. So I was like, really? Today? But, you know, hopefully it won't go on for too long. Um, so, yeah, I this video should have gone up yesterday. I mean, I haven't filmed it yet. I'm li literally filming it today and hoping to get it published this evening. Um, but I had a really hectic family filled weekend which was lovely but um you know it's really hard work um and I guess because now there's just the two of us here it, it kind of gets harder work doesn't it really and all the shopping and cooking and I had um 11 I think I had 11 anyway it's kind of big numbers and you know three meals a day but it was lovely and it was lovely to see um the babies and and everything and um, I've got a little photograph of the baby my son and his wife um you know they don't put any pictures on social media of their children at all and obviously I respect that and um, but there's just a beautiful photograph of him asleep so I will show you that one and uh, he's a darling little thing and he's you know growing rapidly as they do and the other little fella who is um, two and a quarter, he's just simply delightful. I know everyone says that about their grandchildren, of course they do. Um, and I've been around children all my life. So, you know, it takes something to impress me, but he really is incredibly, um, his vocabulary is incredible. You know, he's just two and he said he's obsessed with soldiers marching because his other granny lives in uh, Windsor. So he goes to see the the guards marching and he just wants to watch shoulders on the TV all the time marching and he marches all around. He was using a courgette as a gun. Not a bad thing. Um, anyway, that's enough about that. So so that was busy, busy. And um, my daughter Grace was still here yesterday, so I couldn't obviously get any filming done. So <clears throat> just a couple of things. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, as I say, it's still about half the people that watch aren't subscribed, so give it a go. Nothing to lose, and you can always unsubscribe if that's uh, if you don't like it. Um, but like, there's nothing to not like, really. I mean, you know, the same always applies, doesn't it? If you don't like something, just scroll past. I, I do now. I laugh at some of the comments that say, um, you know, you do this wrong or you do that wrong. Well, just don't watch it then. I mean, obviously, I want people to watch. Of course, I do. But um, you don't have to tell me what you do. <laughs> if I annoy you, I'm sure I annoy a lot of people. I try not to, but you know, that's life, isn't it? That was something I learned in counselling, actually. I digress, as usual. Um, I had a really bad episode of depression. Um, gosh, it must be, we must be going back 12 years now, thank goodness. I've had a couple of little blips, but nothing like that. That was really, really bad. And one day I'll I'll tell you what I think triggered it all, but um, not today. And uh, but one thing I learned in counselling, and it, this sounds so stupid, really, but um, the counsellor, because I'm I'm a people pleaser. That's that's what I am, um, and I try and look after everybody. I think from having being the eldest of five girls, I, you know. I didn't have a choice really but to help with the care of my siblings and um, that's fine and uh, but it's made me very kind of I feel obliged to help people and fill silences when it's awkward and all of that stuff anyway the counsellor said to me you know some people won't like you I, I was like why wouldn't they like me I think about it it's so ridiculous but I just thought well I'm always you know I'm always trying to help people and all the rest of it and I am you know I have got a bit of a a kind of a banter sense of humor and um he said Helen they might just not like you because you've got blonde hair or blue eyes you know 
there's no accounting for why people like you or don't like you. But that was a real shock. <laughs> I laugh now because, of course, people don't like me. You know, I don't like everybody, so why would everybody like me? I mean, you probably all think, yeah, well, get a grip because lots of people don't like you. And I do know that I am a bit Marmite, actually. I think people either really like me or really don't like me um, because I say what I think and uh, not everybody can accept that. And, you know, I have got a filter, obviously. That's about too many gins. But uh, anyway, that's all by the by. Um, so thank you very much for the support around my um, clothes clear out video. Um, yeah, obviously it was really hard work. And I still haven't got everything uploaded to Vinted and I, I'm really planning to do that. If not today, then tomorrow. And as soon as I have, I will do a little short video so that it's just out there with my Vinted name and everything. And um, yeah, you know, as I say, it's an open platform. I'm not kind of selling to my audience. Somebody said, oh, very clever selling to your subscribers. I'm not selling to my subscribers. It's there. If you want to have a look, feel free. But you know, like you're my friends. I tell my friends what I'm doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing anyway. You know, you can, well, whatever. I'm let that go. Um, so anyway, today's business, business, yeah. Oh, I feel like I've got dirty nose. I have to check that when I get up. Um, I have got a huge, well, I think it's huge, but of course it depends what I can get on. Um, Sainsbury's, two at Sainsbury's Hall. And, um, you know, a lot of people, well, a few people, but you know, you always hear the bad comments, don't you, over the good ones. Uh, a few people said that Lily Silk was far too expensive and, um, you know, how can people afford that? Well, there's always in this life, there's always going to be people that can afford a lot more than me and a lot less than me. You know, that is life. Um, but I think it's nice to see nice things and it's nice to aspire to nice things, if that's your thing. And... Um, I think it's nice to say, you know, I'd rather my kids club together if they were going to buy me something and buy me one nice thing than three mediocre things. Um, but that's me. You know, other people might be happier with quantity over quality. But anyway, so that triggered me thinking, oh, who should I go to? I had to look at various sites and obviously we're getting to that transitional phase. And so I went to two at Sainsbury's and I have to say, some of their prices are so cheap, it's unbelievable. Um, so uh, everything I think in this two hall is is very um, reasonably priced. And while I'm quickly on that subject, oh my goodness, I'm prattling on as usual, eight minutes in and I'm already prattling. Um, Timu, I'm not going to advertise Timu. I have heard a lot of negative things about it. I'm not sure about their ethics. And um, I know, you know, we, we could probably look at Sainsbury's and say that they're not the best, but they are a high street brand with credentials that I, you know, that go back many years. Timu, um, I've heard bad things about the labour that they use and also that they've got some dodgy practices around people signing up and then to, they take very small amounts of money out of your account on a regular basis has been reported. I don't know. This is all allegedly, but I get asked by Timu nearly every day to, to work with them and I'm not going to. So just in case anyone's wondering, you won't see a Timu video on my channel, even though they are offering to pay me quite a lot of money to do that. I, I'm not doing it. I, I'm there's something that just doesn't sit right with me. Their prices are ridiculous and there must be a catch. I mean, you know, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. So um, I will crack on. Um, I I might have to do the first... Oh, it's stopped now. The, oh, it's so annoying, isn't it? It's like a toothache when that, that trimming is going on. Um, I think they must be using petrol machines. They're so, so loud. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting up to 10 minutes of just talking. So I will... Um, try on the first couple of things I, th I think i've got a couple of raincoats so i'll probably keep on what i've got on which is this is just a primark shirt bottle green and white stripes oh and i just quickly have to say 
um, you know, you may be thinking, well, you've just got rid of loads of things, you know, please be assured that nearly, not, probably more than 99% of what I buy goes back to the shop. I'm just, as my daughter said yesterday, mum, you're just doing what you've always done, which is buy things, bring them home, take them back. I've always done that, whether it was in physical or online. Um, I just quite enjoy it. I enjoy seeing what's out there and trying on kind of different styles. And you would have also seen that my style has changed and evolved over the years, of course, with age, with um, location, with situation. You have to adjust. And fashion, of course, not forgetting fashion. Not that I'm a fashionista by any stretch of the imagination. But anyway, I must stop talking and I will um, pop on the first raincoat which I think was in the sale but they did have a lot in stock um and they had this in the store as well I popped in there the other day so um without further ado I will um try on the first couple of raincoats and I hope you like them right so now Dolly's barking outside the door as well <laughs> the veg trip is still going mm, not a good day but anyway I'll soldier on now this little lightweight raincoat was reduced from £32 to £9.60. I mean, how crazy is that? I'll just put the little remote down, I'll try that for the turning video on and off. £9.60. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? It's got this lovely soft ribbing around the cuff. This is an extra large, so it is big. But I'm figuring, you know, if you want to just throw it on over a jumper or something, for, I don't think this would be, I think this is what they call shower proof. So it's a really good length. I mean, it comes below my legs, bit below my legs, <laughs> below my knees. It's got this um, really nice quality kind of um, little elastic rivet thing there for, for um, you know, if you want to pull the, the elastic in around um, the bottom. I mean, that's a bit dramatic really, isn't it? Because I can't, as I say, I don't think this is, waterproof it's probably shower proof but my what a handy coat even to just keep in the car you know we've had that kind of summer here I mean it's so nice to see the sun I've more or less given up on the summer I'll be honest with you and say you know I'm already thinking autumn so if you get a little bit of a Brucey bonus with um uh some sunshine so It's, um, I remind myself of uh, Victoria with Wood, God rest her, um, with, uh, you know, she used to do funny sketches like that, didn't she? But I have to say, my um, white little rainproof jacket that I got from, I think it was Asda, I'm wearing that all the time. I kept that one, that was Asda with the black uh, trim. Anyway, I don't know if you'll find this online, I will link it if it's still in stock. And I also got it in the blue because I'm a blue girl, as you know. Um, so this is rather lovely too, isn't it? And But this is nice and cheerful. So I'm really torn. I know I don't need either of them before you all tell me that. But £9.60, I mean, because of where we live, it's actually quite handy to have some extra jackets like this because sometimes people visit for the day and we want to go for a walk and they haven't got anything suitable um i am so impressed with the quality of this you've got this nice self self color zip it's got the drawstring around the waist so you can you know make it a bit give you a bit more shape i'll undo that and should show you it's not like super super big it's just i'd say it's like comfortably big to wear over um trousers or whatever and um it hasn't got that zip you know that goes both ways for sitting down there's so much room in this i don't think that's going to be a problem so i thought i'd pop that on i've got to kind of see because obviously i don't have my wardrobe down here so i can't i've got to kind of see what i need to try on with what i'm already wearing so yeah nine pounds sixty but i did see i was in sainsbury's and as i said i did see a couple of these kind of things in their sale rail so if you've got a sainsbury's near you Brilliant, brilliant bargain. I think that would be definitely what you would call a bargain. I think I quite like this colour. You know, if it's raining, who needs more dreariness? Um, so that's number one. This cardigan was in the sale 
and um, this was reduced from £45 to £22.50. Like I said, I will link it if um, they're still available. This has got 47% 47, 47 wool, 10% cashmere, and then a polyamide and something else. But it does feel nice. It's got a nice, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's got, you know, it doesn't feel cheap. It's got quite a, a wide-ish sleeve there, which I quite like. It's a good length. Not too long, not too short. Um, nice slits, slits for the side button through. I mean, I, I just pulled it on, but uh, with these little kind of mock tortoise shell buttons. I think that's pretty good for 22.50. I am impressed. It's a lovely color. So flattering on the skin, this kind of color. And very, it's a neutral really, isn't it? I mean, that would go with anything. Navy blue, black, white, cream. Yeah, so I'm impressed with that. I'll shut this door because I think it helps. I know it's not ideal. I think that well, I'm going to open the door because that'll let some more light in. Dolly's so good. She knows she's not allowed in here. So because uh, when we used to let it out to Airbnb, she was never allowed over the threshold. So she's just there looking at me, wondering what on earth I'm doing today down here. So, um, yeah, £22.50. They've got some really good reductions in there. And uh, I think this might be a very, very useful cardigan. It might pill up a little bit, but, um, you know, I've got one of those little deep bobblers. A bit fluffy. Anyway, that's number one. No, oh, number two. Go, Helen. Number two. Uh, I've got another cardigan to show you and then a slip over. There's the hedge trimmer going again. This cardigan is £7.50. And I don't think that's reduced. I think that is the price. But um, I know when I was just, I quickly was trying to look up my order and I think this is sold out. Um, I'm not surprised. Um, I don't think it's, it won't be wool for that money. Um, what is it? Acrylic, polyester, polyamide it has got some wool and it's got elastane and it's a real shame because they had a midi skirt as well that went with it that is completely sold out to the extent that it's not even on their site anymore they do do a mini dress that goes under this but for obvious reasons i didn't buy the mini dress um that's amazing isn't it i think this look really nice with um black trail the sleeves are a bit long black trousers or you know jeans or anything really £7.50 I don't know whether I need to shut the door to block that out or talk louder anyway I'll soldier on for a minute yeah so that looks a lot more than £7.50 I know I've just cleared out I haven't done my woolies yet so um, you know it's a consideration Again, I'll decide when I see it on the video because that's what I do now. That's the way I roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, that's the second cardigan and that's the very loud hedge trimmer. So annoying. This is a slipover and I do find these really useful in the winter, in the winter, autumn winter, to just throw over a shirt or a t-shirt. It's a good length. And this was reduced from £22 to um, £6.60. That last cardigan was reduced from £25 to £7.50. But, um, and this is so good. It's got this nice kind of detail here. You see that it's from the, it's all ribbed going down, incredibly soft. This is going to be a mix as well. Acrylic, polyester, polyamide, wool and elastane. So probably keep it shaped to be fair. Um, quite a handy thing. I did go a bit mad with buying these a couple of winters ago, um, but, I, but I do wear them. Um, very, very useful. Gives you that warmth without the bulk, you know. Good color too. I like this kind of camel colour because it goes with everything really, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice neck too. It doesn't, you know, it's not right up here, although it's 
is folded over several times. Sorry, the video just suddenly stopped for some unknown reason. Um, I've had to shut the door because it's just so loud, the, the trimmer. Um, yeah, so £7.50. It's got some wool in it, um, but a very useful, useful top for that. Well, all through right from kind of autumn through to spring, really. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get on and try the next thing on. This is a brand on two. So this is Everbell. And um, it's a really lovely weight um, denim pinafore. But sometimes things save you from yourself, don't they? Because I can't get it done up. So this is an 18, but it's very, very slim fitting. I mean, normally my bust isn't a problem. Normally it's my hips that are a problem, but, and it's one of those invisible zips. So there's no way, I mean, it's just as well, because I certainly don't need it, but I really do like it. It's got these fake, pockets on the front um which I mean I thought they were real pockets actually because I thought that was quite nice it's got nice detailing I mean I do really like it well I mean, obviously it's too small for me so that's that um it's got a slit at the back it's um just too small so what can I say I mean I know it's hard to see in this light and I apologize for that but um you know if you want to look at it on online I will put the link below Oh, somebody asked me about that. How do they see it? So I know if you're on a TV, um, I think it's quite hard to see. But on a laptop, a tablet, a phone, there's like the description. Then it says see more or read more. And that's where you'll find all the details. So anything that I can link, I will link. So, yeah, too small. E -e. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a bit of a shame actually, because I was going to try the next thing on with this, so I'll have to uh, rethink that one. Bit of a change. Um, so that's what I suppose you'd call loungewear. Um, the top was £10 in the sale and the bottoms were £12. And it's um, man-made, I'm sure. It's um, very warm. Polyester viscose and elastane. Um, so soft, I mean, so so soft ideal i suppose you know in the winter months when you're just lounging around the house now this is maternity but i don't let that worry me i mean god when i've had bread I, you'd think i was nine months gone anyway which would be a miracle at my age and they weren't actually sold as as um matching coordinates and they are very slightly different but not enough so i've got these wide trousers with the seam stitched in at the front. I don't know, I think they look quite good actually. Um, good colour, and you know, obviously you can roll these back. I don't know, it might be, I'm not very good at loungewear. I I mean, I, you know, I never changed into my pyjamas early or anything like that. And the f quite funny thing with this is, like, because they're maternity, they come right up here, but you know, you can just roll those over, so that's not a problem. Um, you know, absolutely not a problem. So, they're not a bad length with these platform trainers on, they just about hit the floor, so I think they would be quite difficult to shorten because they are that stretch fabric. But they are as soft as anything, really. Oh, gosh, sorry tick up my nose fluff um yeah so i don't know what you think again i'll see what i think on the video but 22 pound for the two pieces and uh they're not you know these are both uh what size did i get these in um oh the trousers are a 16 this is i had to print the thing off and the jumper is an 18 yeah, they're both maternity. Well, obviously they're maternity, because I just showed you. Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, yeah, so I know some people wouldn't buy maternity when they're not pregnant if their life depends on it, but I don't give a damn. It's only a name, isn't it? And if, it, if it's comfortable and it does the job, it doesn't matter. I am sorely tempted by these, but I will see on the video again. 
Okay, uh, just another couple of bits. And this is another brand at Sainsbury's and this is Finery, which I have bought before from Next. I bought it from John Lewis. Um, and I thought this was rather nice. It's a, it's a very lovely red. It's reduced to £26.70, which is very, very good value. I haven't got the right pants on with it, but um, nice puff sleeve, lovely fabric. I think it's probably, it might be viscose or polyester, but it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, yeah, it's 100% viscose, but it's not a flimsy viscose. It's a good viscose. I don't often wear red, but this is a, oh gosh, got to close the door skin. Hold on. Thank goodness I didn't film up outside because the guy is just there on a ladder. <laughs> How embarrassing would that be? Oh, hello, hello, I'm filming. He would have fallen off his ladder, I reckon, done himself a mischief. Anyway, um, it's got a zip in the side, but I just pulled, pulled it on. <coughs> it's got a zip in the side, but I just pulled it on. It's got these, um, I'm not sure about these buttons, but I, I, they are lovely buttons and there is a spare one. They're like pearl with a silver edge. I would probably wear the neck open to give you that flattering V-line. Um, it's a lot of dress for the money. Fits really nicely. I've just kept my trainers on with it. Um, so yeah, 2670. Oh, the other thing I'm trying to do is a lot of ladies said when that, on the clear out video, they said one in, one out. And I am trying to do that too. So, um, I mean, I've done that before, but you know, I, it's like it's like diets. I just slip back into bad ways. So it's got ice gathering under here. I think it's very flattering, this this shape. It just is exactly in the right place for me um, on my bust. So as I've said before, I'm five foot six, fairly standard size 18, heavier on the hips than the top. Um, but I think, you know, going into autumn with some knee-high boots, this would look really, um, you know, cheerful. Nice red lips. Yeah, I'm not talking myself into it, honestly, but I do really like it. And I don't, as I say, I don't wear red often, but it is a very, very lovely red. Hope that's coming across. Look nice with pearls, wouldn't it? So, um, yeah, I've got another dress and another cardigan, I think, to show you. Another transitional piece, I'd say, this is 100% um, cotton and it's a black and white gingham. I was just thinking about that guy standing out there. Imagine if I'd been modelling the swimsuit. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't think he'd be more upset, me or him. Um, yeah, so it's it's got a nice longer line. You know, that one I tried on from Marks, it just came up here, didn't it? And um, stuck out too far and it's got pockets I know people always comment on the lining up but you know when it's gathered at least they're equidistant from the sensor check so I mean you know it would be hard to gather and keep these lined up wouldn't it so that doesn't bother me too much it's got a good long sleeve nice puff sleeve um oh I've just noticed that actually it's got a uh, yeah, it's got that, I mean, that's good, isn't it? £25 for all that detail. It's got that gathering just here to give it some more shape. It's a nice length. I think this is... It's a jolly good dress, I think. For £25. It's really comfortable. As I say, it's 100% cotton, so it'll iron up lovely and uh, got a good neck, it's got this pipe, um, you know, pipe bias covered edging. I mean, that is, whatever way you look at it, that is good value. I know the ladies in um, America can't get over, and Canada, I think, can't get over. We're spoilt for choice in regards to fashion in this country at the supermarkets. I mean, I like that. You know, the kids have bought us um, Vienna in, uh, that we're going to Vienna for the weekend in September. I think this might be quite nice, you know, with a leather jacket over it. And, uh, you know, you could always layer it up with a, a vest top or even a polo neck. 
I'll see, I'll have a little look, I don't know. Sometimes when you go to a city, you need to wear more what I call city clothes, don't you? Um, but I'll, I'll look and see, see what they're like, how posh they are, they're, whether we're going to the opera. Anyway, one more thing to show you, I think, and then I'm done. And finally, this little cardigan, which was reduced to £5.40. £5.40, it's a, it's a polyester, polyamide, blah, blah, blah. It has got wool in it. It's incredibly warm. This was a 20, because I think they only had it in a 20. But And I know it doesn't go with this dress, but, you know, with a plain black dress, I thought this was a nice little finisher. I like the, the neat little collar. It, and, you know, with, with sometimes with these um, tiered dresses, that's just a ticket, a little short cardigan like this. This is how I used to dress the girls when they were small. I was very much influenced by Spanish fashion at the time where they used to have, they used to make all their dresses with the little, you know, high waist gathered. And my mum used to knit all their cardigans that would fit just on that, that line there, which I just love. Anyway, I digress as usual. So a good colour, nice silver grey. No, it won't, I'm sure it won't stand, you know, a lot of wash and wear, but actually, unless it gets something dropped on it, it's not gonna get dirty, is it? Because it's always gonna be over sleeves. And, um, you know, I try not to wash things like this too often because it doesn't do them any favors. It just knocks the stuffing out of them. So um, that's the last thing. I've just got to sort Dolly out because she's pestering me. I don't know why, because she's out and she's like asking to come in. She knows she can't come in. Anyway, I will um, just stop the video and then I'll just wrap up. That hedge trimmer is still going, busy man. Um, I keep laughing, thinking, uh, thank goodness he can't see in here. And um, yeah, I've been whipping my clothes on and off. Anyway, um, yeah, so two, a couple of things I wanted to say. Um, a couple, you know, if the branded items, if you like them and they're not available on the um, Sainsbury's website, then look, just Google them on their own, you know, just Google that brand and you might find them. And uh, what else was I gonna say? Um, oh, it's gone. That, coming down here to film seemed like such a good idea and then that's started. Anyway, never mind. that's life, isn't it? Um, I think that's all. I've, my next video, I got some, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, God, brain like a sieve. Um, I've got some amazing buys from the John Lewis sale. And again, just, you know, just to try on out of interest. But if you've got a posh do coming up or a wedding or something, they are really slashing their prices right now. So head over there if you're looking for something nice. And oh, the other thing is Moda and Pele, which, you know, are, are so comfortable. Their shoes are so, so comfortable. Beautifully made. Always in the £100 plus mark. They've got a good sale on as well. And you can search by shoe size and you can add the code SALE20 and that will give you another 20% off the already good reductions. So if you're looking for trainers, loafers, sandals, even shoes, they've got a few boots on there and they are beautiful shoes, really, you know, shoes to keep. Um, so yeah, SALE20 is the code on there. Now I've got um, John Lewis, as I say, and um, I'm, I've got to show you this chair as well at some point. This this is the same people that gifted me the um, up and down desk, you know, the standard sitting desk. Oh my, it's another reason why I'm trying to come down here to work because this chair is perfect, but I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about that in detail now. I will talk about that in another video, which will probably come out next week because I've got a really good discount code for you. So um, yeah, that's me for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope I haven't bored you to death and um, I'll see you really soon. Bye.